Does hydrochloric acid dissolve plastic? Have you ever wondered how strong acids interact with different materials? Today, we are going to focus on hydrochloric acid and its effects on plastic. So, does hydrochloric acid dissolve plastic? The answer is not straightforward, as it depends on the type of plastic and the concentration of the acid. Hydrochloric acid, also known as HCl, is a strong corrosive acid. It can dissolve or degrade certain materials, including some plastics. However, not all plastics are equally affected. For example, plastics made from hydrocarbon polymers, like polyethylene and polypropylene, are quite resistant to hydrochloric acid. These types of plastics do not dissolve or degrade easily, even when exposed to high concentrations of hydrochloric acid. This is why containers for hydrochloric acid are often made from these materials. On the flip side, some plastics are more vulnerable. Condensation polymers, such as nylon and polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET, can break down when they come into contact with hydrochloric acid. This means that over time, hydrochloric acid can cause these plastics to degrade or even dissolve. Polystyrene and polyvinyl chloride, which is commonly referred to as PVC, are also susceptible to damage from hydrochloric acid. When heated, PVC can even release hydrogen chloride gas, showing its chemical interaction with hydrochloric acid. In practical terms, while hydrochloric acid can dissolve or damage certain plastics, it does not affect all plastics in the same way. The extent of the damage depends on the specific plastic's chemical structure and the concentration of the acid. For safety reasons, hydrochloric acid is typically stored in resistant plastics like polyethylene or polypropylene, which do not degrade significantly upon contact. From a materials science perspective, understanding how different plastics react to hydrochloric acid is essential. This knowledge helps in selecting the right materials for containers, pipes, and equipment used in handling hydrochloric acid. Proper material selection is vital to prevent chemical degradation and ensure safety in both industrial and laboratory settings. So, to sum it up, hydrochloric acid can dissolve or degrade certain plastics, especially those made from condensation polymers like nylon and PET, as well as polystyrene and PVC. However, hydrocarbon-based plastics like polyethylene and polypropylene are generally resistant. The concentration of the acid and the duration of exposure also play a role in how much damage occurs. Understanding these interactions is key to safely managing hydrochloric acid in various applications.